Oklahoma State went to the blue turf, and this was a – Andy Avalos has problems. He, he's got major problems for the what used to be known as the murder smurfs. Right? <laughs> they used to kill people when they'd come up to Boise. And there were – there were issues here. This was twenty one to ten at the half or twenty one to twenty at the half, and nobody scored in the second half. And That's I watched right. this game and I was shocked that because I, I didn't pay attention at one point because I, I was watching Ole Miss and Tulane. I was watching, you know, all these uh Utah and, and San Diego State. Like I've got I got four TVs, an iPad, and three computer monitors in here. Like I'm I'm trying to keep up with everything. And once Boise got down to like the 15 yard line or whatever it was, I assumed that they were going to score a touchdown because they it felt like they were driving, right? And then they end up having to they end up having to try a, a field goal, they get it blocked. Like this was first off, you you picked Oklahoma State to cover the spread in this, and you were hundred percent right. And I said they would win. I said they'd win the football oh, yeah. game. I said, and let me tell you what I liked about this Oklahoma State team. That, but the offense didn't look great. Okay, it still wasn't the offense of Gundy's old. I said they would go down there and drop forty. But this team played with balls, man. I do think Gundy took this team over and said, "We're I'm just tired of this shit. I'm I'm in charge now. I'm I'm going to run this thing the way I run it." And you know what they did to to Boise? Oh, they that, didn't throw the ball the way I like I like my Gundy teams yeah. to do. They ran the ball down their throat. It wasn't LD Brown. That's who we thought was going to take over. He played fantastic last season, uh, replacing Chuba Hubbard. This time, nope. Jalen Warren, 32 carries, 218 yards, two touchdowns. Spencer Sanders ran 18 times for 26 yards, but it was Jalen Warren. It was 100% Jalen Warren. Uh, Oklahoma State now 13-3 and three in their last 16 against the spread as an underdog. Uh, you just don't, you don't bet against Oklahoma State when they're an underdog. You just don't. Like, it's... It, you, you, it's going to come out on the wrong side. Well, especially knowing that they played flat two weeks in a row. Yeah. Like at some point in time, Mike Gundy is a crazy, crazy son bitch. Okay. Oh, yeah. And he's, and it, this is a guy you don't want to come back into a corner because he's nuts. Okay. Oh, yeah. He's just nuts. And he, and he, and he showed it this, this game. I Spen- mean, he just did. Spencer Sanders, six out of 13 passing, 82 yards, no touchdowns, have no you, picks. Have you ever seen a Mike Gundy football team only threw the ball 13 times in your life? Nope, nope. But I will tell in you this. In your life? Uh, a lot of credit needs to go to that defense. A lot yes. of credit needs to go to that defense. Yes. Boise State's rushing attack, 35 Not carries, much. 61 yards, 1.7 yards per carry. That does include Hank Bachmeyer's 11 carries for negative three yards. But George Halani, 12 carries, 28 yards, average 2.3. Cyrus yeah. Habibi uh, Lakia, 8 carries, 27 yards, 3.4. And, and that was it. That's all she wrote. Suffocating. Complete. Boise State at home could not move the football. They couldn't do a damn thing. And you're right. That last drive, I thought, shit, this is where, this is where Gundy loses it right here. And then they held him to a field goal, and I thought, well, at least I'm going to get the, the, the spread because they'll, they'll win by two. And I'll be damned if they didn't come up with a play there. I just, I, I this Boise team's not impressive. I thought, I thought Oklahoma State was going to go out there and fight like hell. They were going to fight like their life depended on it. And I think they did. Yes. They did. Holding Boise at home to zero points in the second half, I don't know has ever been done. I, How far back do you think we have to go through the archive to find Boise getting blanked at home in a night game? I, I, Feel like BYU did that to them at some point recently. I really, yeah, because I mean they they've kind of stomped them a couple of times here. Oh, and there. BYU, yeah, BYU's like, kind of kicked the shit out of them. Yeah, fast. And so I I don't it, like. Yeah. It, I'll tell you this: it doesn't happen often. It doesn't happen. I don't know that it's never yeah. happened. I don't know that it happens very often at all. Like that that team at home is different. Yeah, there's Andy Avalos, the new Boise coach, has a lot a lot of stuff to clean up. A lot of stuff to clean up. What the, hey, let me ask you this. Okay. If Chris Peterson gets the itch to coach again, do you think he says, I, I really missed it down there in the prairie? Very possible. Very possible. I mean, I could see him taking back over Boise way before I see him going to Hollywood, right? Oh, 100%. There's no like way he just, goes to the USC. That man just doesn't want that, but yeah. he loved his time in Boise. Yeah, I, I think, yeah. Yes, there's no way. I could I could fully see him taking back over Boise State if it gets to a, a spot where they're going seven and six and, uh, and stuff like uh, that. No, right? I don't know if they have to get there. I think he just has to get that itch that he wants to go. 
You just call him up and up say, phone. "Hey, can can you if can you get Andy if he out of called here? up in the middle of a game and said, I, I think I'd like to come back.' They'd be like, they'd be like, how how quick can you get here by the fourth quarter? He'd be like, this is embarrassing. <laughs> I can't debate watch this. It could be a game they're winning by three scores, Gary. They could be winning the game by three scores. And if Peterson calls in the first quarter, and the, the answer is, is can you be here by the fourth? Yeah, yeah. I, I tend to agree. All right. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.